animate your still photos and bring your photos to life. Do you know how to do that? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply the Canvas effect to photos for adding still photos more dynamic and fun. If you are interested in this topic, keep watching. To animate still photos, usually we need to use keyframes to create a change of the position and the rotate angle of a photo to make our audiences feel the photo is moving. And it's easy to create this effect. We just need to free download the video product flagger, open it up, start a new project, drag all the photos we recorded to the software. Then we select them all and drag them onto video track in bench. On the video track, we want to adjust the sequence of the photos as we want the landscape and the man in the city to appear alternately for reducing the video fatigue. After the adjustments, based on the theme of the photos, we can adjust the duration for each. For example, all these photos are about the people and landscape in a nice city. I want the outcome to look as dynamic and trendy as possible. Thus, I need to shorten the duration for each photo to around 2 seconds. That's it. Now let's add a cam burns effect for this photos by turn. Select the first photo. Find the motion icon on the toolbar to enter the motion editor panel. Herein, we can use the add keyframe feature to customize the motion effect. Alternatively, we can use a preset based on our favor. Find the loved preset. Take a click. Video Proc Flagger can generate the corresponding keyframes. Let's preview what we get right now. We want a photo keeps rotating and zoom in. That means we only want an effect in between the first and the second keyframe. Thus, we want to click on the third keyframe and hit the delete keyframe to remove it off. After that, let's choose the second keyframe. Drag it to the end. Now, let's preview the video. This is exactly what I want. Then, let's go on the editing. Select a second keyframe and adjust the parameters. Decrease rotation angle. Reduce the selection range after we zoom in. When we are satisfied with the result, hit apply to apply the effect. Next, we need to animate our second still photo. We just added the first photo with a zoom rotate. To make the motion of the second photo match with the first one, we want to add a second photo with a zoom rotate effect as well. But the difference lies, we need to keep the zoom out effect rather than zoom in. That is to say, we need only the effect in between the second and the third keyframe. So here we select the first keyframe, hit the delete keyframe to remove it off. Then we move the second keyframe to the start of this photo clip. Adjust the selection range for the second keyframe to the original size. After that, let's get back to the main interface to check the outcome. We are not just making these two photos move, 
but also creating a smooth transition between them. After that, I add different motion effects. They are zoom in, move down, zoom in, move right, zoom out, zoom rotate. That can make the dynamic effect on the outcome feel more engaging. Let's have a look at the outcome. We just animated our still photos, but without background music. The video feels a little bit dull. So let's add a background music to spice up our video. Drag it to audio track. Add a split point to the proper position for trimming music to the desired length. Then come over to the inspector panel on the top right to find a fade out. Drag its slider to refine the duration. That can make the music ends naturally. Now we get the music to our video. All right, we just brought new life to our photos in simple clicks. Isn't it super fun? Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in our next tips. Hope you enjoy.